This woman got caught trying to steal $800 worth of makeup. What could you do with that much makeup? Or why is makeup that expensive? One of those questions is relevant. I don't know a lot about makeup. I'm not a fan of makeup. I mean, that's actually a good question. Is a, is a guy that's watching this. Are you a fan of women being all made up and stuff like that? Or do you prefer them to just be natural? I prefer natural. I don't want all this stuff caked up on your face. Even if it looks good and it may make you look better. It's, it's kind of misleading as well because you don't know what the person actually looks like in some situations. Like some people do the makeup way too well. And then you end up not having any idea until like, the morning after, so to speak, we'll say. But anyways, let's dive into this video. It looked like there is a sponsor somewhere in the middle, so I'll have to skip over that once we get to it, but let's see how this plays out. 2022, police were dispatched to an undesirable case at CVS Pharmacy in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Staff reported that a female inside the store refused to leave after being told they were closing. They also advised she had stolen from them before and it appeared she was about to do it again with approximately $800 worth of cosmetics. Upon arrival, the officers told the 23-year-old female, later identified as Adelie, to leave. I'm, I'm thrown that she's trying to steal $800 worth of makeup, but she's refusing to leave the store when they're telling her to leave because they're closing. If you've got all that makeup you're stealing, wouldn't you want to just leave the store, right? I feel like that makes sense. Okay, I gotta see how this goes. However, she continued to look through the aisle, ignoring them. <clears throat> Maybe she hasn't stolen all that she wants yet. Hey. Hey. That's her basket right there. Okay. And she's not gonna buy that stuff. Oh, it's gone. Good. So, sounds like the store doesn't want you here, so you're going to have to... Oh, yeah, there is one here. Okay. Why is it over store cop collar? What's that? Why is it a store cop collar? Hey. Huh? Listen. What? Put your stuff down, and you got to leave. No. Yes, or else I'm going to escort you out. Oh, my God. Put your stuff down. No, I don't want to. I didn't ask you. I'm telling you. Put your stuff down. Oh, my God. We're leaving. What the fuck, dude? Cop collar. I'm telling you to do what I already told you to do. Grab, give me this stuff. When Adelie was leaving, the store alarm went off due to the merchandise she had concealed. But first, let's hear a quick word from today's... Yeah, so she, I mean, she's either got something wrong with her or she's on some kind of drugs. Like the way that, they, they, that she was moving when they walked up to her, she's like going back and forth between her legs and like... Something just seems off with her. You have activated our inventory control system. Please return to your cashier and move your transaction. I don't steal. I take. So Come here. Come here. Does that mean she took something? Wait, wait. I don't have a person there. I don't have a No, I didn't steal anything. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I, well, I, Stop. I didn't steal anything. Then why is your alarm system you can going go off? We are. We're going to. Okay, but I didn't take it off. Anything. That's all my shit that I bought. Yeah. But I have my purse in there. Okay, we can get that here in a second. What the fuck are you doing? Stop. Don't you fucking do that. Stop. No. Nope. You're going to be in cuffs. You're going no, to. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What the fuck? Stop. I will kill you. That's fine. Ooh. Yeah, they ain't gonna kill you. Yeah, okay. What the fuck are you doing? Put your hands no. Okay, I we're know done. Doing hands. She then stated she was in a gang called the Gangster Disciples. As a response, the officers exhibited no concern and swiftly decentralized her. Oh shoot! Someone got decentralized. <laughs> Yo, that's my favorite word. Yeah, I, I feel like something's got to be wrong with her. I mean, think about it. CVS is telling her to leave the store. She's not listening, and she's just going through the aisles and stealing more stuff. And she knows that that's going to escalate to something. She has to know. Because if you want to steal, you want to be low-key as possible. You don't want to be in there, like, having an altercation with the worker and, and doing the stealing when there's nobody else in the store, clearly. Because it just, it just you're, you're an easy target. So, something's up with this woman. I'm in a gang. I'll fucking tell you. What the fuck? Stop. 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 What did I do? Knock it off. No Stop. Knock it off! Knock it off! I'm a disciple! I'm a disciple! Knock it off! Knock it off! Stop! I'm not kidding! Stop! Kick 
kidding me. Just stop. Hey, can we pass? No. We are far past that. Stop trying to scratch me. Stop trying to scratch me. Please hug me. I think the please hug me. We are past that. Please hug me. Guys, hug me. Guys. You can search me, I promise. I didn't steal anything. You guys can search me, okay? You can search everything. Okay? Guys. Stop talking. I didn't steal anything. They're all watching. They're gonna kill He's coming up right now. He's coming up right now. Stop! Ah. He's coming up right now to kill you. Stop! Me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I then just, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not that hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm no, you're not. Stand up. I'm sorry. All right, let's walk. Oh, stop it. Why did you go up with you? No, I didn't. No, stop. I'm sorry. Did I really? I don't know Numerous times. I did? Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I really? I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. Hey, stop talking. Sit I'm down. From, uh, I am. Sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down. I'm sorry. I'm too I really am. Think someone's done some math today? No. None at all. Don't you oh, they think that she did some meth. Okay. That that could make sense. I was gonna say whether it's drugs or she's just dealing with some type of mental illness, it's it's either way, it's sad. And hopefully she gets her life together because it's just I, I, I hate to see as much as these consequences are necessary and you can't be getting away with stuff regardless of what you're dealing with in life, it, it just it's sad to me because I, I just I hate that there's so many people that are that are like this that are going through stuff like this and it's it's unfortunate because when you go places and you steal and you do these different things like you you know you put other people through stuff as well once done some math today no none at all don't you act like that so there's this that's bad now which what's your name Adelie. what's that Adelie. oh yeah i get i get it's my bowl what is my bowl I'm a disciple. No, you're not. Okay. Look at my, look, take off my jacket. I'm a disciple. Look, I'm wearing it. I'm okay, wearing my jacket. Take it off. Take, take this off. Okay, how do you spell your first name? I'm a, I'm a disciple. I'm a gang. Disciple. Gang. I'm a disciple. Look at my jacket. Okay. Take it off. Take it. So how you do you spell it. your first name? A-D-A. Yep. I, that's why I don't want you guys to die. They'll kill you for killing me. They will. My gang, ADA. My gang will murder you. Okay. I wouldn't kill you guys. Okay. I got you guys back for life. Hey, ADA. Like, what if you killed me? I got you. I care about you guys, that's why I don't want this. Stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's a lot of meth. Just like this other video I actually just checked out where a woman got tased in Walmart because she was carrying a knife and she was threatening people. But she she was also saying like, oh, I didn't kill my family or maybe she accused the cop of killing her family. Like, she was just saying all sorts of wild stuff and it turned out that she had ingested a lot of meth. Okay. ADA. ADA, L-E, that's my, that's my government name. Then, it is my legal government name. What's your last name? I never give it to anyone. A D A L E E. That's my real name, I swear. It's so hard to tell like what is uh, stolen and stolen. Stolen. Right. Did you find an ID? I have zero idea what she's even telling me for her actual name. Adelie something. I'm a disciple. I'm in a gang, I'm a disciple. Perfect. I care about you. Okay. What I don't is, want you to die. What's your first name? My gang would kill you, that's why I told you guys to stop. What's your first name? I will Protect you. What's your first name? Adelie. What is it? Adelie. Adelie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want you. I can't look. Sperry. I found her. Yeah. Hmm. That's what Russell will do. Yeah, she's losing a lot of weight. She's a disciple, it's just you. Said, she's not going to hurt you, but her gang will. And I told her, I was like, no, you're not. And then she, she went sideways. Out. Yeah, she freaked out. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I get that there's consequences for what she did, 
But me personally, I'm not a fan of the cops laughing and, and acting like this is some big joke. Like, I get that she's acting out of character and acting a little bit crazy, most likely because she is on meth or some kind of drug. But to me, that's not funny. It's a sad thing. It's a sad story that she decided at one day to, to try something, and she's gone down this path probably ever since then to the point where now she's just in CVS stealing pretty much in, in I was going to say broad daylight. It's nighttime, but you know what I mean, as far as like right out in the open. And then she's saying all these crazy things and stuff like that. It, it's, it's sad. Like, you, you assume that she either does or had a family that cares about her, uh, friends that cared about her, maybe people that she's alienated from her life, and, and so on and so forth because of the fact that she's on this drug. So to me, none of that is funny. Like, it's just, I don't know. It, it's, it, it makes me a little bit off that, that the cop would find stuff like that funny because I can only imagine that he just, I, I don't know. That's just weird to me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Regardless of what she's done wrong, I, I don't like this cop. Uh, nothing open, no probation, no warrants. So, so just uh, resisting the threats to law enforcement? Yeah, threats to law enforcement, battery to law enforcement, um, and then be uh, resisting. I guess I'm just going to take all of that. That's that one looks brand new. That one looks brand new. I can't tell if this is used. I'm assuming she took that out of the box. This has never been touched. It's, it's so hard to tell. What is it that you didn't take? That was, is, all that stuff is mine that I bought. The only stuff that I didn't, like, buy. I, I didn't buy all the stuff that was in the, the basket in the store and what you guys took on my All the stuff in my bags are, is mine. I put it on me. I put it on my gang and got I... Okay, and there we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're not there anymore. Let's take, I'll take this back. Che yeah, this check back. if this is theirs too, because like this has like a cover. Like I said, there's just so much that I couldn't even tell you what is and what isn't. But obviously she had something if it was going on. Yeah, and like how you also broke the glass. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, so <laughs> great. <laughs> Get right off the rail. I'm assuming yeah. these are ours. Yeah. <laughs> So, Thing is, when she came in, that went off. So oh, I really? wonder if she brought these back from Probably stealing it. The first time? Yeah. Yeah, it's ours. Okay. If she never comes in here again, that's fine with me. Perfect. We don't want her back. We'll you do. can do whatever you do with the charges. Okay. All right. I appreciate you guys coming. I Absolutely. Mean, How long was she in here she before? She was in here for about 20 minutes. And just the, had a pile of stuff yeah, on? Yeah, I... I was going to let her go, and then she's rolling around on the floor there, just pulling shit in that basket. Mm -hmm. you got to go. I go, we're going to lunch. We're locking up. Mm -hmm. um, and she, I go, I'm, I'm going to call an officer, and she's like, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you going to arrest her or what? Yeah. Okay. Yep, she's going to jail, so. I promise you, I'm not lying. Okay. I was going to buy out some of the And what is my bag? It's not mine. you can hear it. Is she from around here, do you think, or? Uh, she was listed at homeless out of Eau Claire, so okay. I'm assuming that looks like we've dealt with her before. So. Yeah, she's been in here before, and yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. That's yeah. like that's like two grand right there. Oh yeah. The cosmetics are not cheap. No, they are not. So, all right. All right. So, yeah. Let us know if you guys just you come across. Anything? No. no. Um, just let us know if you come across anything else that okay. she had some other stuff in there that looked like um, it had at least been opened and like used. So, okay. and like, just like used like one time. Yeah. So if you come across anything that. All right, that's fine. We're good. Okay. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. You bet. Um, all that stuff was theirs. Guys, no. Ma'am, I see that you you scratched your chin a little bit. Uh, do you need to go to the hospital or get medical attention? Oh. Okay, are you injured at all? Yeah, I am, but I'm not. Really How are you injured? I, I'm not going to go. Read it. You see the zip design? I'm a GED. Okay. Okay. Do you need medical attention at all tonight? No? Okay. There's your answer. Thanks. Yep. Need anything else for her? Uh, she's also bad for her, so. Listen, I give them a little bit of a pass because at the same time, I do have the mentality of if you chose to do certain drugs and it makes you act a certain way, that was on you. 
that was on you. I guess today I'm just in a mood where I'm kind of like, with a lot of the videos I've watched, I, I, I felt bad for some of the people in the videos. And so in this, just watching them kind of laugh at the way that she's acting, it, it's a little bit frustrating to me. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that they're not good people. It doesn't mean that these officers don't actually have care in their heart for people. If it was mental illness, maybe they would be acting completely differently. I don't know, though. You know, and they may have the same mentality. Like she chose to do meth. She chose to go down this path. But when they were in the store, it sounds like she's homeless. So it's just I, it's just a tough one for me because, again, yes, the consequences are the choices that you made. You're, you're dealing with those and that's that's on you. But at the same time, like, you know, a little bit of sympathy in your heart for somebody that's that's going through something that's addicted to something that, you know, was having a rough time in life, clearly. And, uh, and just can't seem to get it together and doesn't have anybody there to help her or advocate for her if she's homeless or she's alienated everybody from her life and nobody wants to help her any longer. So I can't help but think of things from that angle. I, I, you know, sometimes I, maybe I give people too much benefit of the doubt, but let's, uh, let's see exactly what she got charged with. Perfect. Thank you. Natalie was charged with two counts of felony threat to a law enforcement officer, misdemeanor counts of retail theft and resisting an officer. She was released the following day on a $1,000 signature bond. So, okay. Almost two months later, Adelie failed to appear in court and a bench warrant was issued. She ended up being apprehended the following week for retail theft once more. For that case, she was released on a $500 signature bond. Since then, Adelie has been arrested seven more times for offenses Ooh. such as disorderly conduct, threat and bodily harm to a healthcare provider, battery, and numerous drug-related charges. As of today, this gives her a grand total of nine active cases. Okay, that's wild. She's a repeat offender. I still feel bad, but when you're putting yourself in a position like this multiple times, that's wild. I can only assume that she's stealing some of the cosmetics, not just for herself to use, but maybe to even try to sell so that way she can get more drugs. That might be a part of it because, like they said, cosmetics are not cheap. They're extremely expensive. I, I still have a place in my heart for people like this that I hope they get better, but when you keep bugging like this and going out in public and doing crazy things, like you do kind of put yourself in that in that situation. Like that's 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 on you. And I, and I understand, though, at the same time, that once you're really addicted to something, this is what people do. Like, I had a friend who was very, very close with his family. Very, very awake, active person who's now very monotone because he got into, into heroin. And at one point, he stole all sorts of things from his family that you, you would have never thought that he would have done stuff like that. But thankfully, he's clean. And as far as I know, the last I, I had heard, it's been quite a while now, but he had been clean for a couple of years at the time that I had last even spoken with him. So I'm, I'm going to assume that that's continued. And, and things are going a little bit better, but... You know, at one point he was doing some wild stuff and, and thankfully his family didn't completely abandon him. They, they were still there for him. Just they tried to keep a little bit of a distance. Obviously, he couldn't continue to do that and steal and and do things like, you know, but these are tough situations, man. Like, I, I, I don't know necessarily what it's like because I've never tried any of these hard drugs because I, I feel like I knew from a young age that these were bad and you could get addicted and you could have horrible things happen. And so I've, I've never even dabbled to even try with some of these things. So the most that, that I'd done was smoke weed. And to be honest with you, I had a hard time quitting that. And that's nothing like meth or heroin or any of these other drugs. So I can only imagine if I had tried something like that, you guys would probably be watching someone react to videos like me doing stuff like this. So I guess I also think about it that way. It's just, I don't know. I hope people get their life together, but consequences are consequences. I'll catch you next video, homies.